Hey everybody, it's John here from VGamiac.com. Here we are today back in Battlefield 1, grabbing more collectibles. Today we are doing the fourth campaign in Gallipoli. Starting off with the first level in Cape Hellas. What you want to do is uh, you want to make your way off of the uh, ship right here, and then you want to hang a left, and you want to follow the trenches until you get to the edge of the map. And uh, you want to keep your eyes on the right for some crates, and once you see them, that is where your collectible is going to be. It's about a, a 10 to 20 second walk down the beach and it's going to be right over here. So uh, make sure you pick that up before uh, actually heading up the hill. So grab number one right here. Number two is going to be uh, midway um, up the hill. You're going to get to uh, this area right here. So uh, you want to head upstairs. This is uh, where that uh, giant pit of fire is. Watch out for all the Ottoman soldiers. Those dudes mess you up. But uh, anyways, make your way to this flat part right here. And you're going to hang a right and in this little... Uh, kind of pit stop area is going to be your next crate. From there, what you want to do is you want to head back downhill and you want to go to the edge of the map. So we're going to take a little detour. All of our Australian homies are going to help us out and keep the soldiers off our back, but we're just going to ditch them and head down here to the scaffolding. Once you're down here, what you want to do is you want to follow the path until you get to the uh, encampment off to the edge right here. This dude has a machine gun, so uh, watch out and try to pick him off from a distance. Or you can run up to him and stab him because uh, that's what cool people do. But uh, right next to uh, this uh, automation is going to be your next collectible in this corner between the sandbags and the encampment. Making our way back uphill, this is once you get to the tippy top, you want to hang a left right here, and this is a little detour on the way to the place you're supposed to capture. There's going to be some random house here with this doorway that has only the collectible, so make sure you uh, pick that one up. And the final one is at the encampment that you're supposed to capture. Make sure you do this before killing all the enemies, because after you kill everyone, you'll end the level. So uh, before you kill everyone, head into this back room, and then just open up this chest for number 5 out of 5. Now we can move on to the second part, which is called the runner. So uh, this is at the start of the level. Once you're at the top of this hill and you have to run into towns, I recommend taking the right path because all those enemies are going to rush in. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make your way over here, pass all these artillery uh, fortifications, and you want to make your way to this house right here. And uh, inside is going to be your collectible right next to a wooden bench. So open it up and then head to the left side in like the living room area is going to be your crate. So make sure you grab that and it's going to be field manual number one. And we're gonna backtrack to the starting area. As you can see, all those enemies disappeared. And this time we're gonna head to the left and we're gonna head through all of the rubble. And what you wanna do is you want to head towards this fence right here and keep heading in this direction. You kinda wanna keep your head down because there's going to be snipers on the roof, but uh, the treasure chest or crate rather should be right here. And uh, make sure you grab that. Number three is going to be a left after that. We're going to stab this guy because uh, he's in the way. What you want to do is you want to run uphill, and uh, there's going to be another house in the background right here overlooking the castle. So uh, just uh, run on over there, kill for enemies. If you uh, run into any trouble, always uh, tomahawk them in the face. But uh, make your way to this house, open up the door, and this one's going to be right inside. Pretty simple, and uh, there you go. So after that, you're going to make your way to like kind of a mosque area. It looks like this. And uh, this is where you're supposed to uh, send the report. So uh, once you get here, what you want to do is want to look for the uh, next crate. It's going to be in the other side of the room with the soldiers that aren't dead. So go in here and then grab it right in this place, right next to this support column. And number five is going to be after you defend the place. This is the second part of the level. And uh, once you get control of your character after a cutscene, you want to jump all of these fences right here and then head to uh, this house after the rubble. So uh, once you head over here, the uh, crate's going to be right next to the front door, right over here. And make sure you grab that. And then we can move on to the uh, final chapter of this mission, which is uh, going to be called uh, Be Safe. And the first one is right at the start of the level. What you want to do is you want to drop down, and then you want to hang a right. And we're going to take the long way to get there, simply because that avoids all the enemies. But essentially, you want to look for this tower right here in the middle of town. Very hard to miss, but uh, just head up there. You can either try to sneak in, or you can uh, try to run. But uh, there's going to be enemies, obviously. 
Uh, I recommend stealth killing them because they do give you a hassle if they are alerted. Jump through the window and then once you're in here take the ladder up to the second floor and then once you're in here you want to grab the collectible right over here. So make sure you grab that and then you should be good. Alright, after that, this is when you are in the castle. This is when you're going through this archway. There's going to be a bunch of enemies in here. I recommend stealth killing them because doing this part uh, with shooting is uh, rather difficult because there's tons of snipers. If they get alerted, you will get completely mowed down. So I recommend doing this stealthily. So head up the stairs and head up to the wall right here. There's going to be more enemies here. Once again, stealth kill helps out a bunch, but you want to head to the left and by this uh, artillery station is going to be another crate with your collectible in it. And then after you pick that up, what you want to do is you want to continue following the wall down. Remember to uh, keep an eye out for the enemies because uh, they will also give you trouble. Just look for those uh, diamonds. But uh, if they do get alerted, it's uh, time to go uh, tomahawking. So just tomahawk everyone to death. And uh, there we go. And what you want to do is you want to keep following the wall. As you can see, we alerted the snipers. So we're going to uh, hurry up and try to get this. But uh, you want to run. This place is going to blow up, but this will be in the middle of the rubble. And make sure you pick that up. And uh, there you go. After that, if you manage to stay alive, what you want to do is you want to go through this uh, blown out house. And you want to go around, and there should be this place. Uh, head on inside, and next to these uh, rugs right here is going to be collectible number 4. And collectible number 5 is going to be towards the end of the level. Once you head up and reach the top of the castle, there is going to be this like hut in the middle of the uh, place. I recommend heading on in there to get your collectible. It's also a very key place to get pelted by grenades. So hurry up and get it, and then quickly run out and try to look for cover. But uh, that's going to be it for this level, and uh, don't forget to check back soon for more.